Hi everybody, this is John from ProfitSync.com. I am the developer of the Trexen Trade Execution Engine. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the features of the Trexen Trade Execution Engine. This is not a complete overview, this is just going to be a quick overview. I can go into more details about the other features and other tips and tricks in future videos. Alright, so here on my screen you can see the bot. I am running currently on BitMEX testnet. Um, interface is pretty uh, self-explanatory. As if you've been on BitMEX, you kind of understand. You should be able to kind of understand what's going on right away. So we have our balance view, our positions, um, a quick balance history view, so you can see all the gains or losses you're making very easily um, it's really nice to keep yourself in check to see if okay maybe I'm having a lot of red days I should uh, reconsider how I'm trading and all that a uh, nice percentage view toggle this is really useful I tend to just view everything in percentages because ultimately that's what matters uh, it'll convert everything on your interface to percentage views including all of your orders your balance your balance history all that stuff all right, here in the active orders, you can see, I don't have any orders right now, but you can look at your completed orders. You can look at um, all orders across all your pairs that you're trading, or you can just look at the selected pair. Um, some nice cancel order options. Uh, you cancel a specific order, everything for a specific market, or all your orders. Here is the real magic of Trexen. Here is the order window. Just like your market, uh, you know, you can set your leverage, pretty typical stuff you can see on BitMEX. Some pretty useful features here. I would say one of the one of the most useful features is this max position slider. Uh, what this means is that you will allocate X percent of your wallet towards this particular trading pair and uh, no more. So if you say, I only want to trade 25% of my wallet in Bitcoin, it kind of makes like a sub wallet. So you can trade within that and it will never go over 25%. This is very useful to make sure you're not uh, over trading. Uh, I mean, not exposing yourself to too much risk or bleeding into a uh, balance that you want to allocate towards other trading pairs. You'll notice that I only have uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum against the USD in my uh, trading pairs. You can easily change that, the configurations. These are testnet keys, so steal them if you want. <laughs> you can look at my testnet account. Um, you just change your enabled markets. You know, you can rearrange things the way you like, whatever. Uh, I guess since we're in the configuration, we can take a little look. Uh, as you can see, we support BitMEX and Binance. Uh, the interface is pretty much the same for uh, both exchanges, with the exception of uh, on Binance, you can uh, liquidate all your positions with one click. And uh, there's a nice email option if you don't want to use our Chrome plugin. Uh, we'll go over this later for the uh, alert functionality of the bot. So let's jump into some ordering. Let's say that very simply, I'm gonna set my leverage first, just like I do on BitMEX. Set myself to 10X, and you see I am now on 10X on my account. And let's make a limit order. And on the BitMEX sites, you know, usually you have to write like a limit price, whatever, so you can do that. You can say, I want uh, a limit order at 10,000, and I want to use, let's use half of my allocated balance towards this order, and I want to go long. And I'm just going to place the current order. Uh, confirmation screen comes up, and you see the order instantly submitted. Thanks to that percentage view, we can see exactly how much this order is taking in our account. You'll notice it's 12.50%. Why is it not 50%? That's because I only allocated 
25% of my wallet towards Bitcoin. Half of that is 12.5%. Let's go ahead and cancel that order. And it's canceled. So similarly, we can do a market order. Let's do a little bit less. Clone, current order. And there we go. Now we are in a long. A useful feature is that you can place orders on bid or ask immediately um, without having to, you know, chase the book, fill out the price, uh, find out that somebody outbidded you or turn into a taker order, all that nonsense. You simply go over here and you hit zero. Zero will place your order on bid or ask, depending if you're on long or short. Say you don't want to keep spamming that like you would have to do on the website, you hit that trail button and you have a trailing limit. So let's try that out. Right now, Bitcoin's pretty volatile, so it'll probably fill pretty much right away. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Bitcoin's kind of moving too wild, so probably not going to get any good trail demos in, but it's there and it works. Another. Uh, Another useful feature, you can uh, calculate everything based off of average entry. With this unticked, 1% uh, means that you will place your bid 1% uh, away from current price. You don't have to worry about positives or negatives because it does that depending on uh, your long or short. It'll automatically calculate it. You get a nice preview of the price of that order. And yeah. Let's place another order here, limit. You can see that order was 2% away. Oh, well, things are moving. It's not 2% anymore and it's trailing. So next big thing in Trexon is the order set feature. The order set feature allows you to save a set of orders so that you can execute them all at once. Oftentimes you kind of have a certain way that you wanna enter. Maybe if you're entering in uh, right away, you want to just say, um, I wanna have X amount of uh, distance between my entries so I can dollar cost average in. So let's look at an example here. Let's say that I want to go short. Right now I'm long, so I wanna go short right now. In this order set, you can see that first I cancel any pending orders, and then I close my long, and then I go into a short at 10X, and I set some take profit orders and a stop. So let's hit that full order set button. And you can see it closed our position and then placed the, the new orders with our stop for our short and our take profits. Of course, this works if you want a dollar cost entry. Um, this particular example just didn't happen to have it. So let's cancel all these orders again and let's move on to some other features. Another neat feature that I have on this bot is the pot order. The pot order stands for a price order trigger. The pot order means that once the price has been reached for the pot order, it will execute its payload order. What does that mean? So I'm going to select pot here. I'm going to set a uh, price for 2% above the current price. And on the payload, I'm going to say uh, BTC short. This means that uh, once the price has reached this price, 2% above, it will execute this order set. So once it goes 2% up, it's going to go and execute this uh, short order set. So let's place that there. And you see it in my active orders. Um, it's a order that's managed in the bot, so obviously you won't see it on the exchange. But when price crosses that 10,657, it will go and execute this BTC short order set. Here we have the simple mode. Simple mode allows you to set up a trade beforehand 
from start to finish. Uh, I mean, it's always good to have a plan when you're trading. If you're a good trader, you already know that. And this lets you do what you typically would do in hopefully less steps. So let's go over the different features here. Uh, very similar to our advanced mode, we have, you know, you select your market, leverage, long shorts, um, your max allocated balance towards this uh, particular market you're trading. Uh, let's cancel, let's close our position first. So we have a clean slate. So I'm gonna market close our shorts. All right, and we are out. Let's go to simple mode again. Let's set 10% of our account towards this trade. And let's make a set of orders from 0.5 to 2% away from current price long. And I wanna make heavier orders on the bottom, lighter orders on top to get a nice average entry. Let's spread it out into five orders and let's place those orders. All right, as you can see in one click, it automatically calculated some nice uh, order sizes where the heaviest is on the bottom and the lightest is on the top. This is very similar for the rest of these. You have your stop orders and you have your take profit orders. You can place all these at once. Uh, a little bit of confusion a lot of people have is with these exit stops. What the hell is an exit stop? I already have a stop. The reason for an exit stop is oftentimes people want to uh, change their stop once they move into profits. Uh, so very easily you can set up a new stop at a particular take profit target. A few more features of the simple mode. Uh, we have the different order quantity styles as we went over before. You can have equally sized orders, have your own bottom, have your own top. And this final option is the custom option. So here, if you have specific targets in mind, support resistance, you can go ahead and just add new orders, you know, enter in your price. Um, you can select an absolute price, or you can just enter the uh, actual price, so say like uh, 10650 something like that. Your quantity, trail, whatever you want. And of course, there's also the percentages that are available, percentage from current price, average price, uh, pretty much everywhere you can set a percentage from current or average price. All right, we went over the manual interface for the bot, and now we're going to go over how to automate some trades and link trading view alerts to the bot. Now, I know the typical use case is for a automated strategy, some script that you have on TradingView, and you want to execute those buy and sell signals. But this is also really useful if you are a manual trader. If you are a manual trader, what you can do is you can set certain lines of support and resistance, attach alerts to them, and execute orders. Not only that, you can use any sort of basic indicators. You see I have Bollinger Bands on here, but maybe you're looking into RSI, CCI, whatever you have, whatever you can set an alert condition on, on TradingView, you can automate a trade with Trexon. Let's go over a simple example first. Earlier, when we were doing all these manual orders, you might have noticed that there is an order string, and this order string automatically updates depending on what you have set up here in the user interface. We're going to make a very simple order to, well, right now we're in a long position, so let's just do a market close. Let's mark it close. Um, the order string is generated. We go ahead and we copy this and we set it up into an alert. Now you're not gonna have to sit here and wait for the alert to fire because I'm gonna make it fire right away. I'm gonna set the condition to Bitcoin greater than value zero. And that is always true, hopefully. And we're going to create this and it's going to execute onto our account. Alert fired and the 
order was sent immediately. So that was quick. Right now I'm uh, running off of my home computer, but if you have a VPS, a virtual private server, and you stick that sucker close to Dublin, Ireland, which is where BitMEX servers are located, this is even faster. All right, so that was a simple example. Let's go into something a little bit more complex. Remember from before we had a saved order set. Let's copy the name of this saved order set, BTC short. And again, we're going to set our alerts to say BTC short. Save. And now we have our short order all set up and done, complete with stop market and take profits. You can link your simple mode orders as well. All you have to do is set up the trade, set up the orders as you wish. Right here I have uh, my entry and my stop set up. You can set up your exits and exit stops as well, but I'm just going to do the entry to start with. And how to do that, you can click on this handy question mark icon and it's going to tell you exactly how to set up that order. So. All we do is a uh, long entry and a uh, long, oh wait, we want to do long entry stop because there's also an exit stop. All right, so just like before, let's simply save that alert, let it fire, and then watch the magic happen. There we are, a uh, simple mode order completely automated. I'll close with a view of the Binance GUI. You can see that handy dandy liquidation panic sell feature I mentioned earlier. You can sell into BTC or USD, whatever, um, yeah, whatever quote currency that you desire. Uh, the functionality is pretty similar between BitMEX and Binance, trailing order sets, you know, simple mode pots, all that stuff. Uh, pot orders are particularly useful in Binance, allowing you to place hidden orders that don't tie up your balance. So you can uh, enter, stop, and uh, take profit at multiple levels simultaneously without tying up your balance. We've just scratched the surface of Trexon. There's many other features in there, such as the overload auto retry on BitMEX, rate limiting to guard against getting IP banned, a uh, bunch of cool stuff, and we add new features all the time. If you want to learn more, head over to ProfitSync.com. That's Profit-Sync.com. Join our Discord, Telegram, and request a free trial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the moon.